This is going to be a really short tutorial on how to take Cornell notes. And if at the end of it you don't think it's enough for you to know what to do, you can do a really quick YouTube search. There are a ton of videos on how to take Cornell notes. In a perfect world, everybody would have their own copy of the text, like a paper copy that they could write on, but we don't. Um, and so when you take notes, I want you to kind of annotate through your notes. So if you read something that's important or you see a keyword or detail like somebody's name or the name of a place, um, you find an unfamiliar word that you have to go to the dictionary to look up, anything like that, um, connections, these are the kind of notes that I want you to take. So this could be while we're reading, while I'm teaching, while you're watching a video, or another student is teaching, um, I want you to use the Cornell note method. So our three sides, the right column is where you'll take your notes, and the left side will be the Q side. And in here you'll write cues in the forms of questions or responses. So the questions will be level one questions on page 10 in your notebook. And then responses will be um, your reaction to what you read or what you heard. And an example would be in Romeo and Juliet, we just found out that Juliet is 13 years old and Paris is asking Juliet's father if he can marry her. And that right there might be kind of surprising that she's so young, but Capulet says that um, Paris needs to wait just two more years. Well, she's still only 15. So your reaction to that or your response to that could be how surprised you are that she's so young and he's trying to get her married. And then the bottom part is for your summary. So the note-taking part will be done while you are reading or watching a video or listening to a lecture. And then you'll do the questioning part. And then the last thing you'll do is the summary. And this is a way to synthesize the information that you just learned. It's really short, two to three sentences, um, just to recap everything that you just learned. So here's an example of somebody who took notes um, on Hannibal and shows he's the son of Hamilcar. He was in the Punic military. He fought the Romans. He was a human. He was not a duck. So this is how they've organized the notes. You can do something like this, like an outline. You can just list your notes. You can draw pictures. Whatever is the most helpful for you to understand the notes. And then once the notes are done, You'll write your questions, and these are, again, level one notes. Look at page 10 in your notebook for your level one questions. And so these are just comprehension questions, recall questions. Who was Hannibal? What was his position? Who did he fight? What type of animal was he? So these are questions that you can look straight back in your notes and find the answers. And then the last part is the summary. So the summary here is that Hannibal was the son of Hamilcar Barca and one of the greatest commanders in history. He fought the Romans in the Second Punic War and was not a duck. Okay, that just recaps everything in the notes. To set up your own paper for Cornell notes, from the edge of the paper to the pink or red line, just double that, and that's where you want to write your line for the column, for the two columns and then your line across the bottom. And you always want to have a title. And this is just something that tells you what the notes are about. So it could be Romeo and Juliet, Act 1. That way, when you're looking back through your notes, you know exactly what your notes are about. You don't have to read through them to figure out what your notes are about. So that is a really quick tutorial over Cornell notes. I hope it was helpful.